desire God out of love. In a world that promotes self-love and shapes people to do everything, get everything, be everything they could to serve the self, the Bible points us to the opposite direction and tells us to pursue the one thing this world abhors, but that which truly counts. By the world standard, Paul, with his name, influence, intelligence, and power, can be considered a successful man. However, in his own words, Paul counted everything the world called riches as nothing, mere garbage, compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ. Yes. Nothing is as wonderful as knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. I have given up everything else and count it all as garbage. All I want is Christ. That's in Philippians chapter 3, verse 8. If the unconverted Paul looked at himself as someone deserving and leveraged only on his wealth, intelligence, and knowledge of the law, again, by world standard, he was right to do so. But Paul's one encounter with the Lord Jesus on the Damascus Road made him come face to face with his own nothingness. What he once considered gains, he considered everything lost before the gracious God who alone can turn his life around. Pastor John Piper said, and I quote, We were designed to find our fullest satisfaction not in front of a mirror, but in front of God. As believers and followers of Jesus, let us seek Christ and desire Him out of love. There's absolutely nothing on earth that ever comes close to Him.